the Hindi writing what I have my last name De Silva. Sometimes when I go to the shops I walk past Indian people and you can see them trying to read my arm and stuff like that and they start a conversation with me so that's pretty cool I guess. I'm Daniel De Silva and this is the story of my ink. I have the Taj Mahal, I have a mandala and a lotus leaf and yeah they're probably my most cultural ones. You know I always wanted to get something to represent India and I think that the Taj Mahal is very significant of that, you know, everybody pretty much knows what the Taj Mahal is and where it can be found and everything, so you know, that's why I wanted to do that, to, to make sure that it stood out and to, that people knew that, you know, it had Indian heritage. My dad's side is the Indian and Portuguese. His family and his brothers and sisters, they were moved here when they were pretty young, but still, you know, that's where you come from and that's my heritage as well. I got my first tattoo when I was 16. It says God is my judge, it's what Daniel means in the Bible, my name. And then from there it kind of just spiraled, yeah. It's like what well, they say, once you get one you get really addicted. They all have different meanings to me and some of them are just from artwork, but a lot of it is family orientated or cultural orientated. So my brother's name is Rhett, he's uh, 18. And my best mate for sure. Um, very close and yeah, he plays football player as well. We have like a matching tattoo, it says brotherhood. It's just a word that that means a lot to us, you know, we'll always be brothers no matter where we are, if we're on the other side of the world or whatever like that. Yeah, we just decided on it, you know, we always wanted to get a matching one. Then, yeah, that's what we came up with. I have a couple of fighting tattoos. I have like Bruce Lee and Muhammad Ali. I used to do boxing when I was younger and I did it more as like a fitness thing and more as a, to look after myself. It was good for me and my brother to do it with my dad and my uncle and it was a bit of like boy time sort of thing. I loved to watch boxing and Bruce Lee just, I really liked him. He's, my uncle was a good fighter and good karate and taekwondo so I sort of grew up in that area as well watching his movies and his videos and stuff like that. Then I have like a few like Bible things as well from the Bible. Um, family's like a Christian so am I so I'll uh, have some things like Bible verses and meanings it sort of says uh, about not giving up, you know, no matter like what you go through and what your struggle might be or how tired you may get or whatever, you know, you got to keep pushing forward and I guess that's to do with like life as well and, you know, I guess also in the football field as well, you may be losing or whatever, you know, you get deflated but, you know, you got to try hang in there and, you know, keep fighting for the win and, you know, the same goes for life as well, I guess. I've always been pretty interested in like art and things like that. I have like a Wu-Tang tattoo and like an Elvis tattoo and you know that's very different music but you know that is the type of music that I listen to and when I was growing up as well you know I listened to that sort of stuff. Elvis he was just like a real like G if I can say that he was really cool in his era and you know the music what he created and made I don't know I just really liked it you know I really vibed well with it when I was young and I think my dad played it a lot as well and maybe it rubbed off on me and then like Wu-Tang and like NWA they, they have really real like cultural music you know what they rap about and what they sing about um, was very strong and you know I think that was uh, really real music as well at that time. The artist Banksy if you know him um, I really like how he is as an artist you know he's very mysterious and the tattoos and the art and everything so yeah I guess that's sort of how I went down the track of graffiti as well shouldn't judge people with tattoos. I think it's just a great way to be able to express yourself and I like my tattoos and I like looking at other people's tattoos and it's really cool I guess.